I was going to make a video. I'm really, really busy, but I just finished watching Ch watching Chapin's Inferno, and I want to add some stuff to it. I mean, to summarize, a, a man uh, in Cincinnati was forced to issue a Facebook apology to his estranged wife because uh, he wrote something uh, on Facebook which was deemed, uh, who knows, insulting. It, it seems pretty accurate to me. If you're an evil, vindictive woman who wants to ruin your husband's life and take your son's father away from him completely, all you need to do is say that you're scared of your husband or domestic partner and they'll take him away. Well, <laughs> that seems pretty accurate to me. Um, and it's hardly an insult, a direct insult to the, the woman, at least. Uh, but um, what we see here, first off, I'm, I'm beyond disgusted. You know, a couple of minutes ago, I would have just been swearing the whole time. But, but you know, I'm trying to calm down. I'm totally revolted by this. So is, so is Bernard. This is, this is disgusting. And here we see, as far as I know, that the, the First Amendment should be a applicable across the boards, also to the realm of cybernetic space, meaning that Facebook is fair game for the First Amendment, and that you basically uh, have a right to say what you want uh, on Facebook without having to worry about state coercive power interfering and forcing you to do things uh, that you may or may not want to do. I mean, in what world do we live in now? The last time I remember in my home country, the United States, there was the First Amendment. It probably is the most important one um, because in a way it, it elevates, I wouldn't say above, but it certainly differentiates our country from many other countries that do have such things as hate speech laws. Now, this is, and I tried to, I wanted to stick away, stay away from politics, but sometimes it's really difficult. And why is it difficult? Because feminists and fem Nazis, their mangina servants, and all their fucking disgusting, vile, repugnant minions love using state coercive power to get their fucking will done. They want to affect changes or they want to force people to do things, you go to the state. But that's what that's what state power has always been about. Using the state to coerce people, individuals to do things, turn them into fucking groups. You know, I recently I talked about the race issue. Look that's racism has, has always been and, and, and ethnic prejudice has always been accelerated by state power. Jim Crow Crow laws, state state issued power, all this stuff. Um, and so we see this woman in her complete impotence um, turning to a, a, a magistrate, uh, allegedly, to get, get, get her will done and to punish her husband even further. Um, this guy, by the way, supposedly committed civil violence. Uh, if you actually look it up, he was clear he was exonerated of all charges. And despite that, <sighs> despite that, he was, um, you know, he still had some kind of civil uh protection order issued on him. Well, but this really just goes to show that if you're an MRA, and you, or at least you think you are one, and you think that state intervention is a good thing, maybe you should think twice about that, buddy, because you might be on the end of the receiving stick. Maybe you have a kid, and the disgusting, foul uh, creature that you married is trying to uh, take that kid away from you. I've seen it over and over and over again. I have, um, anecdotally, I have a, an older buddy in his 60s. His ex-wife cheated on him. Uh, still got, in the UK, still got the house. Poisoned, poisoned his relationship to his daughter. Son still talks to him, go figure, by uh, claiming that it had been the husband who had cheated on her and what have you. And Anyway, he doesn't talk to his daughter anymore. Or rather, his daughter doesn't talk to him. And uh, he's had to sort of make his peace with that. But um, they're all adults, mind you. They're in their the, the children in their late twenties. State power. This is what I'm talking about. Disgusting. And these these people who who do this are disgusting. They're they're beyond disgusting. I don't even think they earn the title of fucking being human. Uh, these are some of the most bottom feeding, vile creatures. Whether they're men or women, who 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 favor using state coercive of power to punish non-existent crimes. Where was the crime here? The man made a comment, and it's probably an accurate comment. Um, and uh, actually, we see the comment vindicated by what happened. So this is really a dangerous precedent. And moreover, like I said, I want to avoid politics. But for those of us who cherish the First Amendment, and I, to me, it's my personal most, in, my most favorite, my most favorite, that's kind of repetitive, my favorite one, and the most important one, uh, you know, this is chipping away at it when you get court injunctions to do things that, you know, for speech, um, for, I, 
libel. I mean, it wasn't even libel, but it shouldn't it shouldn't be the case. Um, and it goes to show that, well, across the board in Europe, they've been long gone, but in the United States, that the most important freedoms that we have, namely freedom of expression, that is to say what you want without fear of punishment um, by the state, that's we're losing that too. The Fourth Amendment already to have just taken a massive hit. We got uh, all sorts of weird ideas being cooked up in Congress. Well, wel welcome, welcome to the twilight zone. And the next thing we know, uh, channels like mine and, and, and Bernard's and maybe Barbarossa's are going to be fucking shut down. Who knows? You know, all you need is state course of power. Oh, hate speech. You know, we're. I don't like I don't like using the term I'm proud of, but I'm I, I think it's cool that the United States doesn't have hate speech laws, at least officially. Apparently it does in some bizarre nebulous form. In contrast to Canada and many other European many European countries, well, uh, never mind countries where you just can't say what you want to say, like China. What's happening here? Seriously, what's happening? You can't even say what you want to say anymore. It doesn't matter if you agree with someone or not. And I've never actually never deleted comments. I've never deleted all the insults on my channel, all the silliness. I just let it let it slide because I actually believe in that, and I apply it to my channel. I apply the First Amendment to my channel. I apply it to my to my life, and I just I just think it's 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 a grave, serious thing that the First Amendment's being chipped away uh, at, and you know. It is something I always thought was really cool about the United States, which differentiated it from so many other countries that have these weird so-called hate speech laws. And I mean, anyway, this is a bit of a rant, I admit that, but I really cannot describe in words how offensive, disgusting, vile, repugnant, malicious, I can't, I can't even find the right adjectives to describe how just disgusting this, this incident is. And this creature who, who calls itself a woman uh, that this man was unfortunate enough to marry, I don't know the background story, but you know, may the gods have mercy on his soul and may they punish her, may she rot in Hades. I, uh, I don't know what to say anymore. All I know is that if you don't think this is a war, well, here's, here's the proof is in the pudding. Look at it. Look at the fucking state intervening, forcing people to do things just because they said something, and just because a man says something. If a man says something, remember my last video, if, a man, if one man rapes, all men rape. I mean, this, this, is, this is unfortunately a trend that is just going to repeat itself with continuing frequency over and over and over. A while back before, uh, Chapin's Inferno did a little story about a man who was forced to buy dinner uh, by a judge. Still further back, uh, a man, this is in France, which, you know, it's another issue. He was, he was forced, he was thinking he's fined 10,000 euros for failing to stick his dick in his wife's disgusting crotch. Well, I don't know. You know, women, women who are watching this, feminists, do you, do you want equality? Stop fucking being a crybaby. You want equality? Stick up for yourself. You know, you want to fucking hide behind the state, you fucking cowardice pussies? Well, cowardly pussies. I'm sorry, I'm just really upset. This this story, because this kind of just hit a trigger for me. This is kind of, I'm sorry, this is, this is, this is a, this is a war against men. And if you can't fucking see that, whoever you are, you're either blind or you don't want to see it, or you like the fucking war. You like using state power against us, and you like fucking punishing men for simply making comments that are probably accurate. Uh, you know, fuck the state, fuck this cunt. I don't have anything else to say. Sorry for the rant. The next video will be more coherent. Thanks for watching.